April is Autism Awareness Month. About one in 44 kids has been diagnosed with the disorder, according to the CDC. New this morning, some local parents say getting the diagnosis in order to get the help they need is not easy. WCPO 9 News reporter Madeline Oddly looked into this and the challenges they faced while testing and the resources available to help have been so difficult. Good morning, Madeline. Hey, Julie, good morning. Exactly like you said, getting that diagnosis is really the first step for these families to start getting the tools they need to actually help their kids. One Southgate family told me it took them nearly a year to get their daughter diagnosed with autism, and they're still not done with their testing process. This was them in the hospital. And they the first day that they were born. Call it a parent's intuition. Just notice a few little things. Southgate mom Hannah Robinson knew something was different for one of her daughters early on. Nothing major, but sometimes it would make it hard for her. Her daughter was already in occupational therapy. This is a chart for her. When they recommended, she see a psychologist too. Robinson tried last summer. She says most clinics wouldn't take her insurance. Others too far away. Some didn't have an appointment for months. Everybody told me it was going to be difficult going into it, but I did not think it was going to be that difficult. It wasn't until this month she says a psychologist diagnosed her daughter with autism. Now she needs another evaluation to confirm the diagnosis for her daughter's school, which she says helps ensure additional counseling. I was making probably a couple dozen calls a day. She got an appointment, but it's nine months and a 90 minute drive away. Nobody wants to see their their kids struggle because you can't help them because you don't know what to do. One expert says the roadblocks aren't necessarily uncommon. Even though we're getting a lot of providers in the areas, um, you know, there's still a greater need than we can fill. But she says Autism Speaks can help. They've compiled resources on their website and their autism response team offers free personal support. One of the trickiest things with having a child on the spectrum is it can feel very isolating. I would want parents to know out there that there is a whole community surrounding you. Some people are afraid that the diagnosis is going to change their child and it doesn't change anything about who they are. It's just now you're getting them, you know, the tools that they need to be more successful. Now, if you want to take advantage of some of the tools that you just saw, this is the website you're going to head to, autismspeaks.org. Once you get here, you can go through this resource guide. You're going to find a lot of the different tools your community offers, some of the providers uh, that will conduct that testing. And if that is still not enough to help you, you can reach out here to the Autism Response Team. This will give you personal support by phone, and that number is 1-888-AUTISM2. Reporting live, Madeline Ottilie, WCPO 9 News.